you'll hear you'll hear the announcement there. So I'll just uh, say welcome to what am I welcoming people to the special prayer meeting. Okay. And we go three, two. Hello and welcome. We are Dave and Joan Maroney with the Divine Mercy for America. You can find us at divinemercyforamerica.org. Click the membership tab and sign up for all the email groups. And today we have a very special prayer meeting that uh, we are doing here on Zoom. This is Tuesday, November 30th, 21. And today we have, uh, we want to invoke uh, Our Lady of America. We have some very uh, important intentions. And if I, should I just start out with reading this intention here, Joni? What do you think? Well, uh, sure. So uh, intention is uh, through, that through the recitation of the prayer of St. Gertrude, thousands of souls will be released from purgatory and that these souls will help obtain the grace for the U.S. bishops to accomplish the solemn procession and permanent placement of the statue of Our Lady of America in the National Shrine of the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception in Washington, D.C., thereby unleashing a torrent of grace upon our land and in particular the grace of purity. So we all agree that purity is something sorely needed in these times. So we, we invoke and uh, we ask graces from Our Lady, Our Blessed Mother, Did you want to hear Blessed Mother, Mother of Jesus, under the, the title program. Our Lady of yeah. America. Um, I want to also welcome, um, we're joined today by uh, leaders of apostolates from across the United States. You know, anybody that is um, Living, living their faith, uh, you know, teaching catechism, uh, involved in RCIA, leading an apostolate, handing out prayer cards of, of any kind, doing anything they can help to spread the message of God's love and his mercy and the, the, the basics of our, of our Catholic faith or what we like to say, you are divine mercy for America. Pope St. John Paul said, there's nothing mankind needs more than divine mercy. And this is because this generation has become such a sinful generation. And we know why, because Satan has been allowed to, you know, run wild. Um, and, and this is his last stand and his last attempt. And although sin is very great, we know that uh, grace abounds even more, right? And we have wonderful um, means to combat Satan and to lead us to the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. So uh, I've asked to join us today, as I said, apostate leaders from, a, from across the country, Dave and I, are with the Marian Fathers, Mother of Mercy Messengers, and Divine Mercy for America. We have um, Sister Mary Lang with Infant Jesus Society, a beautiful um, new religious order that she's forming of, of a vocation of mourning mourning the death of innocent souls lost, particularly through abortion and through in vitro fertilization. We have Kristen Bird with Diocesan Rosary Congress, helping parishes and, and dioceses to have um, a week long of perpetual adoration where people come and pray before the Blessed Sacrament, before Jesus. We need Jesus and we need Our Lady, right? And, and to pray the Holy Rosary, to pray the Chaplet of Mercy out loud. Kristen organizes this all across the country. Maureen Flynn, she and her husband Ted with Signs and Wonders and also Pray and Fast for America. I mean, you guys have been in the trenches for probably, what, 30 years, Maureen? Or yes, and I have a magazine that we did a couple of years ago, Our Lady of America on the cover. We've done several magazines over the many years about our lady of america to keep her in front of the you know the people to remind them so i think it's great what you guys are all doing and you know we know it's going to happen so we just got to continue praying and believing and trusting that god has a great plan and we have to help and maureen what is the website for that uh 
to sign up to get the magazine. Yeah, sign, S-I-G-N, singular.org. So it's an easy one. We got the website in 1997 because we just had a feeling the web internet was going to go big. So S-I-G-N.org. Wow. And then I, uh, thanks for joining us, Maureen. It will kick off at the top of the hour. We will be zooming over to Vilnius, Lithuania, uh, where we have perpetual adoration and um, the original image of the divine mercy on display and we'll be spiritually uniting ourselves with uh with the lord there for our prayer time and then i'm going to ask um michael to unmute and just give us a brief uh tell everybody what what your apostle is about about strong catholic men yeah yes. strong catholic dad uh so i'm i'm a father of 10 and what uh, breaks my heart and motivates my ministry is that 85% of Catholic kids reject the faith by the age of 22. And what most people don't realize is that the average age they decide to reject the faith is 13. So we're losing them under our noses. Um, and I founded the ministry to help parents effectively teach the faith at home. Um, and basically, because the greatest commandment, the second part of it is to diligently teach our children the faith at home every day. And so our secret sauce is that we use viral videos to grab the attention of the parents and, and the kids. So you can check out our work at strong, strongcatholicdad.com. We have the teaching guides, articles, <clears throat> and our podcast. Beautiful. Wonderful. Awesome work. Awesome work. Okay. Who did I miss? Um, Jane Spawn, our friend from, from Indianapolis, just a, a wonderful mother and faithful Catholic. Um, and uh, her friend Vicki Yamasaki. Vicki, tell us a little bit about your uh, Corpus Christi for Unity and Peace. Oh, I'd love to. We founded this in 2020. And it's a national, uh, it's a national organization. We've got a heavy, um, heavy support structure here in Indy. So we've got a lot of participants here, but we um, we started this um, to because we we're recognizing the signs that people were not uh, preserving and safeguarding the dignity of the human person. We actually had a sideline priest who just simply spoke the truth. And because of that, he was sidelined and it was really a tragic situation. And we realized at that moment that we have to stand strong and defend truth and defend our Catholic beliefs and our right to express those beliefs. And we do that through education and prayer rallies. And I have a podcast and we bring in speakers on various topics, whether uh, it's focused on the sanctity of life, the sanctity of marriage, uh, religious liberty, or just protecting our good holy priests. So that's the, that's really the focus of, of what we do. And I'm so grateful to be part of this tonight. Well, we're happy to have you. And one of the things that we've always felt, we've had Divine Mercy for America uh, since 2012, is that, uh, you know, everybody, as I said earlier, that's that's working in, in the field, you know, is, um, is Divine Mercy for America. And, but then the Divine Mercy for America community that we have is like the prayer. It's we're, we're your prayer partners. We've we've got your back. So we're joining together to support people like you, Vicky, and like Maureen, and and Michael, and Sister, and and all the people that are out there doing whatever the Lord leads them to do. So congratulations to all of you, and then all of you that are joining us. We know all of you are doing things big and small. All of us are, are part of this, and God's got a special plan for each and every one of us. So um, I don't know if I think I've got everybody. What I'd like to do now is <coughs> how did we come up with this idea um, to, to get together and pray? Well, the month of November, it, we are supposed to be praying for the holy souls, right? And today is the last day of, of praying for the holy souls, so we thought let's um, – it's very difficult to hear Joan. Okay, maybe I need to put my volume up. Can y'all hear me? Are y'all having a hard time? I can. You can hear me okay? It maybe sounds your volume or oh, Diane. Can you hear me, Karen? All right. Yeah, perfectly. Okay. okay. Um, 
anyway so as we pray the saint gertrude prayer you know it's it's believed or the tradition has been that a thousand souls by saying this prayer are released into heaven and we know that when these souls get to heaven i mean oh my goodness there they are and in thanksgiving uh for our prayers and them being released of their bonds and 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 finally making their uh eternal reward that they would implore the throne of god to see that um the request the the wishes of our lady of america would be fulfilled and to, to end the sinful culture that we have right and then we were also reminded that today being um the 30th of november it's the feast of the first apostle who was that saint matthew uh, not saint matthew saint andrew <laughs> saint andrew and i had never been made aware before i never learned of the christmas novena that begins today on the first uh, on November 30th and continues until December 24th. And so we thought we would incorporate that prayer also. It's to be prayed 15 times a day. And we're gonna break it up for y'all today. So we're, um, as we go to adoration here in just a few more minutes. And then also we will pray the Chaplet of Mercy. No, uh, December 3rd, I think most of you are also aware that we have a very, very important case coming before the Supreme Court. Mr. McCarthy, do you want to talk about that? Or you just to say a word or two, do you know? He is a, a, a licensed theologian and our, is he on here? Um, and an attorney, Kevin, there you are. Kevin? You're muted, Kevin, when you need to unmute yourself. We have just two minutes. Unmute, Kevin. Should be a... I think he's on an iPad, so that would be at the bottom left to unmute. Is that right? Well, I'm not sure. Are there any iPad users that could? Oh, maybe if I ask him to unmute. Mute. There, there you are. are. Now can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Yeah, the, there'll be what's called an oral argument um, before the Supreme Court. And so obviously many people are interested because this is a place where at least preliminary decisions, if not final decisions are made by each of the nine justices. So they ask their questions and they uh, grill the lawyers and then they pretty much come up to a conclusion of how they're gonna go. They later have a conference to settle all that or they might have more than one conference and they might exchange uh, draft uh, opinions and so forth, but the m much depends on the oral argument uh, because they've already had the briefs and they have many, many briefs, many briefs from people that are what they call friends of the court. So they've got these amicus curiae briefs, but they, uh, the, 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 basically the parties are the ones that have to argue the case. And so it, it is a matter where, you know, grace can be brought to bear. There's no question about it. So we have a lot of reasons uh, to be in prayer, particularly at this time. We've just entered the season of Advent. And, you know, we already know that a lot of people are having Christmas parties and putting up all their Christmas decorations. But really, this is a time of prayer and penance in preparation for the coming of Jesus. And this beautiful St. Uh, Andrew prayer in Novena helps really prepare us for that. Now, as we had put something out last week about the St. Gertrude prayer, um, I received an email from a man that said it's not really known that by saying that prayer that we really do release a thousand souls that St. Gertrude never said that. And anyway, I, I asked um, Mr. McCarthy to, to check into this because we don't want to be spreading anything that's untrue. So Kevin, if you'll just take a minute to, because if some of you have heard some of that, we should, we should know how to respond to that. And uh, so Kevin, why don't you talk about that? And then we'll yeah, well, uh, the, the particular comment was about something that would, had been entered into the official record of the church in 1899 by Pope Leo the 13th about indulgences in general. And this prayer is not an, an this this phenomenon is not an indulgence. This is a pious belief, which the church, you don't have to believe this, but it's a pious belief that if you say this prayer properly and you have the proper disposition and intention that you know, it, it could definitely release a thousand souls from purgatory. One priest said to me, it could release more than that, bro, depending on who the person is saying the prayer. 
but uh, the, the, the point is that the, 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 my research indicates that at least one pope has, uh, has approved this and actually rewrote it because the private revelation of St. Gertrude the Great only talks about releasing souls from purgatory. And there were other uh, phraseology added to this before it got ecclesiastical approval to include living sinners. So that's why you have these, uh, this other phraseology in there. So um, it's, it's like anything that's derived from private revelation. You don't have to believe it, but from my own personal experience, I'm satisfied that it does release many, many souls from purgatory. And when I say that, I mean hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands and perhaps even millions. So, um, so uh, it, it's, it's not a something that's automatic or like anything else in the spiritual life. These things are, you know, are not, they don't come off perfectly. I mean, you could be distracted when you're saying the prayer, you could be in, not be in the state of grace and you wouldn't have much luck with it at all, according to what the church teaches. But, um, you know, it, we do think that it releases many souls from purgatory. And we know that St. Michael the Archangel accompanies each and every soul who leaves purgatory and goes to heaven. So that's why we've asked St. Michael to, to reaffirm the intention that we've already expressed to the holy souls, and they can hear that, but to reaffirm the intention that when they arrive in heaven, remind them that we're, we're seeking this intercession on their part to convert the bishops to do this request of the Blessed Virgin Mary made in 1956, made, you know what, 65 years ago. And not only that, um, on the, the diary of St. Faustina and passage 1783, she wrote, when I immersed myself in prayer and united, my, and united myself with all the masses that were being celebrated all over the world at that time, I implored God for the sake of all these holy masses to have mercy on the world and especially on poor sinners who were dying at that moment. At the same instant, I received an interior answer from God that a thousand souls had received grace through the prayerful meditation I had offered to God. We do not know the number of souls that is ours to save through our prayers and sacrifices. Therefore, let us always pray for sinners. And so, as she said, she united her herself in prayer with all the masses, which is what we do in the St. Gertrude prayer, right? And here she mentions that the Lord showed her a thousand souls had received grace. And actually, when we read this, and we've shared it many times uh, as we've spoken, that in a time when uh, a lot of people are like Michael shared earlier, that a lot of kids, young people, that they leave the church and the pews are empty or we might be really upset that not everybody is as, as devout or faithful as we are. We just need to remember that, that it's our faithfulness. And time and time again, the Lord told St. Faustina, because of you, I am blessing your country. When I had shared this passage with our spiritual director, I was all excited and I said, you know, so some people could get upset that instead of having, you know, a thousand people here tonight, we, we, we have almost a hundred, you know, and, but if you know that we can impact a thousand people, then that's a hundred thousand people. He quickly reminded me, he said, yes, Joan, but St. Faustina was a very holy woman. And that, that's why the first part of our Divine Mercy for America action plan really is about us striving for personal holiness. And so maybe we don't affect a thousand like St. Faustina did, a woman who was just completely united with Christ and intense, immense suffering. But okay, so maybe it's 10, <laughs> maybe it's 20. But the more that, that we strive for holiness, then the greater is the efficacy of the prayers that, that we make and we do, right? And this is what we need to remember as we pray here tonight. And Father Seraphim would always tell us this as well. And Our Lady of Medjugorje told us, we must pray from the heart and not just be rattling off the words, right? So as we're going to go right now, zoom over to, to Vilnius um, to be with our Lord. We're going to read a little bit from scripture and then we will pray the St. Gertrude prayer, uh, the um, St. Andrew prayer and the Chaplet of Mercy. Let's all pray from the heart. You know, be aware of what we're doing, praying for souls and, and being united with Christ. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Before we go to Vilnius, I just want to welcome once again everybody, especially if you're new uh, to our, our prayer time uh, like this. And uh, normally we stay on Vilnius, but with these prayers, we're going to kind of be going back and forth to the, the text or the prayer will be on the screen. But just we'll just keep ourselves uh, in the presence of our Lord this whole prayer time. And so... And let me get this up to Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord Jesus, we come before you as humble sinners. We place our trust in you. We place our sinfulness, Lord Jesus, on the bonfire of your love and mercy. We love you, Jesus. We just, we want to be with you. We want to be with Jesus. We thank you for bending down, coming to humankind, becoming one of us showing us the way to heaven, showing us the cross, so that we know that whatever we bear it pales in comparison to your sufferings, and you suffered for the entire world. We love you, Jesus. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Bless you. Adore you. Praise you in the name of Jesus, above all names. And as we said, we're offering this time of prayer in particular um, so that the that Our Lady of America's request will be met. The bishops will have her have that solemn procession into the Basilica of the Immaculate Conception, our, our National Marian Shrine, and that she will be her statue will be venerated there, and that the gift of purity will pour out. And we were led to uh, the scripture verse and have Dave read. And gosh, as we read this last night, it really opened our eyes and to really understand the situation of the world today and why we are in it. And so this is from chapter one of Romans. We begin with uh, verse 18 through 32, and then chapter two, verse nine through 11. Yes. The wrath of God is indeed being revealed from heaven against every impiety and wickedness of those who suppress, who suppress the truth by their wickedness. For what can be known about God is evident to them, because God made it evident to them. Ever since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes of eternal power and divinity have been able to be understood and perceived in what he has made. As a result, they have no excuse. For although they knew God did not accord him glory as God or give him thanks, instead they became vain in their reasoning, and their senseless minds were darkened. While claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for the likeness of an image of mortal man, or of birds, or of four-legged animals, or of snakes. Therefore, God handed them over to impurity through the lusts of their hearts for the mutual degradation of their bodies. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and revered and worshipped the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. Therefore, God handed them over to degrading passions. Their females exchanged natural relations for unnatural. And the males, likewise, gave up natural relations with females and burned with lust for one another. Mm. Males did shameful things with males, and thus received in their own persons the due penalty 
for their perversity. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God handed them over to their undiscerning mind to do what is improper. They are filled with every form of wickedness, evil, greed, and malice, full of envy, murder, rivalry, treachery, and spite. They are gossips and scandal mongers, and they hate God. They are insolent, haughty, boastful, ingenious in their wickedness, and rebellious toward their parents. They are senseless, faithless, heartless, ruthless. Although they know the just decree of God that all who participate in such things deserve death, they not only do them, but give approval to those who practice them. Yes, affliction and distress will come upon every human being who does evil, Jew first and then Greek. But there will be glory, honor, and peace for everyone who does good, Jew first and then Greek. There is no partiality with God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So with that, I think it really explains when basically what St. Paul is saying is that the Lord from the beginning of the time makes us all to know that he exists and that he is God. But when we turn from him and turn away from that and ignore that, we are led into the acts of impurity and that leads to all these other evils. And this is why we need Our Lady of America to, uh, as we said, to help rid us of this. And this is why we have this prayer time. So Maureen Flynn. Mm -hmm. We're going to be praying the St. Andrew prayer, the Christmas Novena. We're going to pray it five times, and then we will continue with the prayer to St. Gertrude, or the St. Gertrude prayer, which we will pray 50 times. We'll be leading you all in these prayers, our uh, prayer leaders, so it won't be monotonous. And then we will pray the... Um, a little bit more of the St. Andrew prayer, the chaplet, and we'll conclude with the St. Andrew prayer. Maureen? Yes. Jonah, did, um, I wondered if it'd be okay if I just read, it's very short, something from Our Lady of America. Absolutely. And if anybody wants this magazine, I'll send it out, you know, to you. Just send me an email at editor at sign.org because um, every time I reread these messages from Our Lady of America, it's just amazing. And we are so important. America is key for world peace. That's why we're getting so attacked. But right. I believe we're all going to come through this. This was a message that our lady gave to Sister Mildred, November 22nd, 1980. Beloved daughter, the United States is a small one among the nations, yet has it not been said the little child shall lead them? It is the United States that is to lead the world to peace. The peace of Christ, the peace that he brought with him from heaven, in his birth as man in the little town of Bethlehem. The savior did not come to enter this world in a big city, but a small town, again, a little one among many. Dear child, unless the United States accepts and carries out faithfully the mandate given to it by heaven to lead the world to peace, there will come upon it and all the nations a great havoc of war and incredible suffering. If, however, the United States is faithful to this mandate from heaven, and yet fails in the pursuit of peace because the rest of the world will not accept or cooperate, then the United States will not be burdened with the punishment about to fall. But there's a lot in here about um, the importance of the Holy Family, the importance of strong fathers in the family, and of course, the importance of purity. So I just think it's great that we're all doing this because the Lady of America well, you know, once she's installed, she will save America. That's the promise. And, and not only America, I mean, that will, that will extend across the world, right? Exactly. 
Hail and blessed be the honor and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, vouchsafe, O my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and of his blessed mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, thou safe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and of his blessed mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, thou safe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and of his blessed mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, thou safe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and of his blessed mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, thou safe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and his blessed mother. Pointing out your magazine at editor at sign.org. If you would like a copy of it, just email Maureen and with, your, with your mailing address and she'll send it to you. All right, so um, now we're going to pray the uh, 50 of the St. Gertrude prayer. And as we recite each one of these, remember, 1,000 souls, and we have about 100 and, oh, I don't know, 15 or 20, 15 people with us. So thousands and thousands of souls, uh, God willing, as we pray uh, prayerfully, will uh, be released. You know, my mother passed away this past year, and I know many of us have lost loved ones. So many have died this last year, and of course throughout history. So um, let's see the first decade. So this is going to be myself and um, Kevin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Amen. <clears throat> Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, 
for sinners, sinners in the universal, in the universal church, church, those in my own, home, in my own home, and within, and my, within family. my family. Amen. Okay, Kevin, the next five. Can you hear me? Yes. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. And we should tell the holy souls we very much love them too. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with all the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, sinners everywhere, sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer you the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with all the Mass said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Mass is said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with all the masses set throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, everywhere. For sinners in the universal Amen. church, those in my Amen. own home and within my Amen. family. Amen. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with all the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer to thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. 
Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine, divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with all of the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my family. Amen. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all 
praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the Masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my own family. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, okay. in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my family. Amen. Jane? I'm here. Eternal Amen. Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, Amen. O oh, sacrament most holy, O oh, sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, 
for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses set throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. I want to be perfect. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Hey, Kevin, I believe you have uh, the next Yes, question. I do. There. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home, and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family, amen. Eternal Father, I offer thee the most precious blood of thy divine Son, Jesus, in union with the masses said throughout the world today, for all the holy souls in purgatory, for sinners everywhere, for sinners in the universal church, those in my own home and within my family. Amen. Sacrament most holy. O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Thank you, everybody. And now we will continue with the Novena, the St. Andrew Christmas prayer. Uh, Karen Japson is going to uh, pray the next five. Go ahead, Karen. Let me get um, it. He'll get it on the screen. Uh -oh. Eternal Father. I, oh, that, oh, no, that's not the right one. <laughs> it show up in a moment. Okay. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born for the most pure Virgin Mary of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, vouchsafe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and his blessed mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, vouchsafe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires 
through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and his Blessed Mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight at Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, vouchsafe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and his blessed mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, vouchsafe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and his blessed mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, vouchsafe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and of his blessed mother. Back to Vilnius screen share. This is the Perpetual Adoration Chapel in Vilnius, Lithuania. It is now December 1st there. And uh, this is the original painting of the Divine Mercy, as many of you know. And so now we will uh, pray the Chaplet of Mercy. We're going to play a recording that we made of this actually down in Corpus Christi, Texas, when we were celebrating the 80th anniversary of the gift of the Chaplet of Mercy given to the world. We hope you enjoy it. And then uh, when we finish the Chaplet, Sister Mary Lang will lead us in the five final recitation of the five final St. Andrew prayers. Christmas Novena. <laughs> Spirit. Amen. You expire, Jesus, but the source of life gushed forth for souls, and the ocean of mercy opened up for the whole world. O fount of life, unfathomable divine mercy, envelop the whole world and empty yourself out upon us. O blood and water, which gushed forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. O oh, blood and water, which gush forth from the heart of Jesus as a fount of mercy for us, I trust in you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Eternal Father, I offer 
offer you the body and blood, soul, and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood, soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal Father, I offer you the body and blood soul and divinity of your dearly beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, in atonement for our sins and those of the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. 
for the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. For the sake of his sorrowful passion. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one. Have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Holy God, holy mighty one, holy immortal one, have mercy on us and on the whole world. Eternal God, in whom mercy is endless, and the treasury of compassion inexhaustible. Look kindly upon us and increase your mercy in us, that in difficult moments we might not despair nor become despondent, but with great confidence submit ourselves to your holy will, which is love and mercy itself. Amen. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sister Mary Lang will now um, recite the last five Christmas Novena prayers, St. Andrew prayer. Sister. Yet the words, okay. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, about safe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires to the merits of our Savior Jesus Christ and of his blessed Mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, about safe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and of his blessed Mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, but safe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires to the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and of his blessed Mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, but safe, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires through the merits of our Savior Jesus Christ and of his blessed Mother. Hail and blessed be the hour and moment 
in which the Son of God was born of the most pure Virgin Mary at, Beth at midnight in Bethlehem in piercing cold. In that hour, but save, O oh my God, to hear my prayer and grant my desires to the merits of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and of his blessed mother. Amen. Thank you, sister. You're welcome. How beautiful. And as we uh, conclude this time of prayer, we are going to, uh, Dave and I will lead the prayer to the Immaculate Conception which is our celebration of our the patroness of our country, Mary, the Immaculate Conception, the Immaculate One, Our Lady of America. And this prayer was uh, written at the behest of Our Lady on October 5th in 1956. And many of you may know that October 5th is the anniversary of the death of St. Faustina. It is her feast day. How closely we are all drawn together. So prayer to the Immaculate Conception. Together? We'll alternate. Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 O Immaculate Mother, Queen of our country, open our hearts, our homes, and our land to the coming of Jesus, your divine Son. With him, reign over us. O oh, heavenly lady, so pure and so bright, with the radiance of God's light shining in and about you, be our leader against the powers of evil set upon resting the world of souls, Thank redeemed you. at such a great cost by the sufferings of your son and of yourself in union with him from that same Savior who loves us with infinite charity. We gather about you, O chaste and holy mother, virgin immaculate, patroness of our beloved land, determined to fight under your banner of holy purity against the wickedness that would make all the world an abyss of evil without God and without your loving maternal care. We consecrate our hearts, our homes, our land to your most pure heart, O great Queen, that the kingdom of your Son, our Redeemer and our God, may be firmly established in us. We ask no special sign of you, sweet Mother, for we believe in your great love for us, and we place in you our entire confidence. We promise to honor you by faith, love, and the purity of our lives according to your desires. Reign over us then, O Virgin Immaculate, with your Son, Jesus Christ. May his divine heart and your most chaste heart be ever enthroned and glorified among us. Use us, your children of America, as your instruments in bringing peace among men and nations. Work your miracles of grace in us, so that we may be a glory to the Blessed Trinity, who created, redeemed, and sanctifies us. May your valiant spouse, St. Joseph, with the holy angels and saints, assist you and us in renewing the face of the earth. Then, when our work is over, come, Holy Immaculate Mother, and as our victorious Queen, lead us to the eternal kingdom where your son reigns forever as king. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And that prayer carries the imprimatur of Paul Leibold. The Archbishop. The sister's spiritual director from the very beginning was a parish priest and over time was uh ended up being the the bishop of evansville indiana and then the archbishop of cincinnati and so we conclude with the uh the tantum ergo as we say goodbye to the lord 
Tantum ego sacramentum Venere mortier nui Et anticum documentum Novoce dari tui Preste fide supplementum Sensum defectui Genitori genitoque Laud sed jubilatio Salus honor virtus quoque Sit et benedictio Procedenti abutroque, Comparsi laudatio. Amen. We love you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. We just Thank want to just... be with you, Jesus. We just want to be with you. Jesus, Lord we trust Jesus. in you. Okay. Thank everybody Thank you, for being here and joining us. I would like to ask uh, Karen uh, Japson to share with us quickly uh, a little bit. If you continue, all of you, many of you devoted to Our, Our Lady of America and to continue to pray for uh, this intention that we had tonight. So, uh, Karen, take it away. Good evening, everybody. I'd just like to thank uh, Joan and Dave for bringing us together. And um, this is so beautiful. Um, we are starting tomorrow uh, for the next seven days, Our Lady of America um, Rosary Congress. It's, you know, 24 seven um, Eucharistic adoration topped off with a rosary for the intentions of our blessed mother, because we know this is the most effective way of um, changing hearts and having her um, request being, being ushered in. And so we ask you to join, sign up for an hour in your own adoration um, chapel. And uh, if you could do more than one hour, that would, would be, be terrific. You know, let's just do this all together. It's if you're doing it already, just sign up and, you know, it'll be counted as an hour for Our Lady of America. And um, we're trying to do it the spiritual way. We're doing it the secular way where they fight off bishops. And we don't want to do that. We want to stay respectful. We want to trust in Jesus and let him do the work for us and his blessed mother. So I am going to put the link on the side. It is the sign up genius. You just click on that or copy that and see what hour you can join in. And I thank you very much for, for joining together to do this. <laughs> thank you, Karen. And if, uh, you know, se several of you apostolate leaders have put your, your websites uh, in the chat, that's great. If anyone else has not, go ahead and put it in there. And what I try to do is include all those links in the uh, description when we post this to YouTube. Right, and, and so just to clarify uh, what Karen is saying, please try to make a holy hour. Again, we're, there's so many things on our plate right now and it's Advent and we should be making an extra effort to spend time in Eucharistic adoration. Um, we've got the Supreme Court thing happening, uh, you know, and I was thinking also this week, it's kind of just coincidental that Jelaine Maxwell, uh, her trial is going on right now. Remember, she was the partner to Jeffrey Epstein. Mm. And so much is really how interesting. So I really feel the power of our prayers right now for truth to come out, for justice and mercy, and to be praying for the conversion of sinners, right? And um, and, and for these souls that have, have fallen into um, th this, this evil and this wickedness. So uh, it, sign up and then just record that that holy hour uh, through the um, what's it called, Karen? Again, it's uh, sign up genius. The sign up genius. Um, I just posted there. If yeah. you see yeah. the little icon with Saint Joseph, that's me. 
and um, there's a link right next to it sign on sign up genius mm -hmm. and encourage Thank your you. friends and family members. Okay. Does anybody else have any comments or questions, anything we left off or that you'd like to add? Um, just thank you. I, thank you. I want to thank you for inviting me tonight. And I also, I tried to put something on chat, but I don't know how to plug it in. Okay, I don't know. I'm very, very technically impaired. So I put my blog spot, Women Espouse to, Bur to Purity, but I don't know how to make it work. You know what I mean? I don't know if you're getting that chat or not. <laughs> so women a spouse to pierce someone. But is it say say the site again? Blogs, what is it? Women espouse to purity.blogspot.com. And the the name of the group is women espouse to purity for Christ. Dot blogspot. And I'm sure you could Google dot com. I typed it in. Okay, yeah. I got it in there now. I'm sure you can Google women espoused to purity and it would come up if we misspelled it or something. <laughs> yeah, I think it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Margaret. But anyway, I'm very happy to be here. We're happy you joined us. Thank you. God bless you. And we'd like, you know, uh, many of you are some of our regulars for our monthly uh, novena of holy hours. And uh, if you're if you don't know about it, uh, every month, typically from the first through the ninth, this month of December, we're moving it forward a little bit. Uh, but uh, usually every month on the first of the ninth, we send out emails uh, with that have the four novenas that Jesus and Our Lady asked St. Faustina to do for her country of Poland back in the 1930s. And we do them from the 1st through the 9th. Now that doesn't come from St. Faustina, that's just something we've incorporated just to, just to keep uh, doing them. And then also in the uh, afternoon, uh, we host a holy hour uh, very similar to this one, and we do those four novenas during that holy hour. You can uh, sign up at uh, divinemercyforamerica.org, click on the membership tab, and uh, click all of the email groups. Uh, we send out emails for the, for instance, the Divine Mercy Novena that begins on Good Friday. So you can get it as a text on your phone and there's the, the prayers right there. It makes it very convenient for people to pray these different novenas. And you can read about all the different groups that we have mm -hmm. at uh, divinemercyforamerica.org slash membership. So just a reminder, uh, this month we will begin that the virtual holy hour and the Zoom meeting instead of the first of the ninth, it'll be on the ninth through the 17th, okay? So glad to see all of you here today, many of you that, that join us every month. And uh, we hope to see you all on the 9th. And those of you that have never joined us before, jump on board. It's, it's a beautiful time. We have wonderful guest speakers um, that speak for about 15 or 20 minutes before the holy hour begins. Um, it begins at 5 o'clock yes. Eastern. Is it? Eastern, 5 yeah. o'clock. So the Zoom room opens at 4.30 Eastern. And uh, it's been a, a beautiful experience um, all year long. So, and Joan and I will be this weekend at uh, uh, in Dallas at the Anatole uh, Hotel for the Saint Christopher uh, Saint Nicholas Saint Nicholas uh, show uh, with Catholic Christmas Marketing uh, Network. Father Chris uh, Alar will be there with us. Scott Hahn, uh, Scott Hahn, Chris uh, wow. Raymond, Raymond Aurora, Aurora and Dave and Joan. So <laughs> come by if you're in the area of Dallas. Yeah. Yeah. Come by and see us. Well, thank you. Can I just say thank? Can you help hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you, Joan and Dave and Kevin McCarthy for organizing this beautiful holy hour tonight. It was very powerful. Thank you. It really was. Thank you so much for including me. Vicki, yeah, we'd You're love welcome. to. Yeah, Vicki, we'd Wonderful. love to have you as a special guest for our novena. And Michael, oh. we haven't had you guys, but it's people like you that we have, you know, that have these unique mm -hmm. apostolates that people need to know more about. You know, right. so we'll be back in touch with you to see if we can get you scheduled. Very good. Yeah, this was wonderful. So Don't touch me. Very good. Bye, Thanks guys. for hey, Can I say something real quick? Sure. Okay. 
Um, thanks for inviting me. This is absolutely awesome. I, I love it when you guys do this kind of stuff. And we've been trying to do Divine Mercy um, in a lot of areas here in South Dakota. Uh, I live in New Underwood, so it's just a little ways away from Rapid City. Anyway, we have a couple of communities that are absolutely besieged with drug trafficking. And we've, in fact, just had two murders over the weekend. Um, and in this these two particular areas are just really hard hit with that. So um, if you wouldn't mind, I know that you got a lot on your plate. So if you guys wouldn't mind lifting us in prayer, because I'm going to try and do public rosaries in those and divine mercy chapels in those two areas to try to overcome all that's there. Cause we know that our Holy mother has the ability to help us do that. So if you wouldn't mind, um, maybe just keep us in prayer for that. And that was, I was, it was hard to understand, uh, in, in, where in South Dakota? Oh, here, let oh. me, let me just quick do this. I'll just take this off of there. I apologize. Uh, in Rapid City, South Dakota. Rapid City, So South we've got, Dakota. yes, it's, um, it's on the western end of the state. And we have a couple of areas that are just very hard hit with drug trafficking and, and violence. And so I'm trying to organize public rosaries and divine mercy chaplets in those areas. One, to introduce Our Lady and, and the rosary to these areas and the divine mercy to these areas, but to overcome what they're going through. So if you guys could just maybe keep us in a little prayer there so that we can get this going and, and help these communities get back on their feet to um, come back to the Lord. So let's let's say a Saint Michael prayer for that intention right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Saint Michael, oh, the, the archangel. Archangel. Angel. Defend us in battle. Protection. Yeah, protection mm -hmm. against all the evil. Yes, and prayers. Yes, of the devil. We humbly pray. We humbly pray. We humbly pray. We humbly pray. By the power of the God, 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 I wanted to ask some prayers, but I wanted to ask when you guys are off recording. I don't know if you're still recording or not. I'm sorry I missed it tonight. I, I saw it too late, but at least I got to say hi. Okay. <laughs> got to see everybody. Go ahead and uh, wrap stop up the, the recording. recording. Yes. Yeah, and then if anybody wants to say. So we want to thank all of you who have joined us on demand on YouTube. And uh, do whatever you can to pray for our country. And uh, as St. Faustina did everything she offered everything all her prayers all her sufferings and uh, we want to walk in her footsteps because we are all called to be saints too so god bless you and god bless america because of you thank you and i would like to say something before we go oh okay for all